All right, we're gonna talk a little bit about the cockpit mounting solutions, how you can mount your Slavix tabletop avionics panel to one of these alternative cockpit mounting solutions. So we're gonna walk you through exactly how we do it and an example of how we do it with the honeycomb yoke system. channel if you haven't uh, give it a like give it a subscribe and uh, check us out on Instagram too we're trying to get a little more active on the insta uh, it seems a little bit fun uh, a little social and have a little fun throwing some stories at the walls but enough of that today we're going to talk to you about how we mount a Slavix tabletop avionics panel into a Glime cockpit into a Valerisim cockpit into a GTR simulator cockpit I'm gonna walk you through the process how we do it, how we make it a really easy, simple experience for the end user. So I get these requests quite a bit. Uh, I get an email uh, through our contact form on our website. Usually the box is ticked and it says, hey, you know, I want to mount this thing to, to one of my cockpits at home. So I say, no problem. Uh, we're happy to do that. And so what the process is, is the customer will actually send us their plate. Okay. And that's the plate that actually comes with their cockpit, it's a, it's a base plate. It's oftentimes pre-drilled for various other hardware solutions to support that. And I'm gonna actually walk you through here what one of these plates look like. So this is one of the plates here. As I mentioned, these are often uh, supported with pre-drilled holes for some of the other hardware that's been in existence uh, you know, to this day, right? So what we do is we actually take this plate and we line up all the different holes of where the Slavix panel is gonna sit on here. We mount up all the different holes. And for this example, we're actually using the honeycomb base plates. So the honeycomb base plates here are, are really unique because they actually can sit right on top of the Slavix panel and then the Slavix panel under that. And what happens is, is we're actually able to take a nut the exact size of this hex pattern on the honeycomb base plate. And so what that means is, is when you drill a hole into this hex pattern, you're able to thread a bolt after this hole has been drilling, excuse me, drilled, drilling, that's not a word, uh, drilled, and then after the hole is obviously drilled in the Slavix panel base as well. So everything is all match drilled. Now oftentimes there is bracing underneath these panels, okay? and that bracing gets in the way of holding down screws. Some of it's needed from a structural perspective, other parts, I mean, it's there, you can get away with milling some of it out. So one of the services when we do this whole process is we actually mill out some of that extra material on the back of the plate. Uh, that's something that a lot of people can't really do in their home, but we can actually do that. So once you're able to do that, uh, you're able to place the panel on top of this, uh, you're able to thread the bolts in there, and everything then becomes one unified system. Uh, it's, it's really quite simple and, uh, and it works quite well. So after we've done that drilling, however, as well as that milling process, it, uh, it basically roughens the panel up. You know, it's, it's gonna not be this really nice satin black anymore. So what we do is we actually re-strip it down and we re-powder coat it a nice satin black. And, uh, and that gives it the, that final durable finish. It also just makes the product look really complete. Uh, it looks really clean as well. This panel here is actually going to have the yoke centered uh, kind of right here. And I wish I had one of these cockpits to show you guys, but I don't. There's a lot of pictures online. But the yoke's going to be centered. And, uh, and that's because in these seats, you're often sitting centered in the seat and you want the yoke directly in front of you. The panel is going to kind of fall off to the side, right? It's gonna hang off the side. However, the structural rigidity of the Slavix panel, how we make it, our design, it's very robust, so it shouldn't take away from that user experience at all. So that's how we, uh, that's how we do it here with the honeycomb. We also do things like this with the Yoko yoke. Uh, once again, you're just threading the bolts into the bottom of the Yoko yoke, 
through the plate, through the panel, and then into the component. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, that's the process. So once again, really quick, customer ships us their plate or they purchase an additional one, have it shipped to us. We mill it out, we drill it out, match drill, do all the fabrication work on the, both the panel and the plate, and if necessary, the honeycomb base plate. We complete all that fabrication, repowder coat, and then we're, uh, we finish the slab panel and we ship everything back to you. So that's the process. Any questions, let us know. If you got a cockpit that we don't cover, uh, we're happy to you know take a look at it and see if we can go ahead and cover it for you guys. All right, we'll see you. Stay level.